After I finish recording the last tutorial about the corner windows, I figure out that uh, my project doesn't have a ground floor and it is really a disaster. In this tutorial, I decided to design the ground floor and make the uh, connection between the surrounding to the building. So let's learn, practice and share. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Matt Tutorials. To design the ground floor, first I'm going to the ground floor level. Then I'm going to turn on the trace reference, which uh, set to the DWG file that I imported as an X reference. Then I believe the first thing is to copy down the uh, walls from the main floor, which is uh, the first floor. So. I'm going to draw a marquee around the plan. Then I'm going to select the wall, control A, then control C on the keyboard. I'm coming down to the ground floor and control V. So I will have all the walls of the first floor. So I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to draw a marquee tool again. I'm going to select the windows, control A also doors and control a and then delete these then to remove the market tool i'm gonna right click and remove marquee then i uh, draw this corner window with the corner window tool so i'm gonna select this item and i'm gonna delete then i'm gonna uh, remove all the walls that i don't need uh, on this floor uh, for example, these ones that uh, create different spaces on the plan, like these, and also this one. I, I think these big walls are columns of this building, so I'm going to uh, keep this big uh, block of uh, wall. And I'm going to delete only the walls that seems to not be structural, like that and also this one i think yeah i'm gonna connect these two like this also this one and i believe this could be the ground floor level walls here we have stairs and elevators so i'm gonna copy the stair to this floor I'm going to the first floor control c and i'm coming to the ground floor control v then I'm going to right click and OK. I'm going to the uh, Trady view to see what do we have. Yeah, it seems that uh, this could be the uh, ground floor for this building, but I prefer to have a higher level for the ground floor, which is the entrance to the building. So uh, I'm going to the uh, ground floor, then going to the setting. I'm going to select the ground floor and change the height, maybe four meter. As you see, all the other floor heights remains the same. And uh, since the zero of the project is on the ground floor and uh, I change uh, an amount here, all these elevations uh, will be calculated automatically. Uh, this one is not uh, underground, it's just a place to uh, import the DWG file. So I'm not going to worry about the height of this floor. So I'm going to uh, hit OK, then going to the 3D view. And the ground floor seems to have an extra one meter. So uh, I should fix this by selecting all the walls. Now the stairs is also uh, selected for me, so I'm going to remove it with holding down the shift key on the keyboard. Now I have only walls, so I'm going to dialog setting. Here I'm going to link these walls to the next floor, which is the first floor. And as you see, we have a distance of 1 meter and 30 to the first floor. And uh, I can fix this gap by putting down the number zero. Now all the walls is connected and linked to the next floor. So I'm going to hit OK. And now I have a ground floor, which is almost one meter taller than all the floors. And I'm going to design this level. So I'm going back to the ground floor and I'm going to fix some of these uh, problems like this very quickly. <laughs> Now it's 
seems this is going to be the basic plan for the ground floor. Also, maybe I can remove uh, this one like that. And yeah, it's fine. OK. I changed the height of this floor. So this stair is designed for the height of three meters. So I have also need to fix the stairs. I'm going to uh, remove these walls like that. Then I'm going to check it in the tree view. So I don't have a slab under here. So I can maybe uh, fix it this way like that as you see these uh, stairs doesn't reach to the next floor first i'm gonna select this stair then i'm gonna change the height of these stairs to uh, four meter which i can do it right here and i'm gonna hit uh, okay then it seems that the height of each stair is different so i'm going to the uh, ground floor i'm gonna select the uh, stairs I'm going to change the number of the stairs to um, something more like, I, I believe, in one meter, uh, adding three uh, steps or even four will be uh, fine. So I'm going to put it on the 23 and uh, the height seems fine for the height of each step. So I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to change the number of stairs on each run because if we go to the 3D view, we will see that I'm going to also change the length for this wall like that. We can now see the stairs much better. As you see here, these stairs couldn't reach to the place to the slab that it should reach so i'm going to change the number of run on uh, each side of the uh, stairs by clicking once here and uh, selecting rearrange steps i'm going to click on this and if i move like this uh, you see that uh, the ending point will be changed immediately so i'm going to click once here then i'm going to check it on the 3d view and now it seems I need another step to go back. So I'm going to select this, rearrange, and do it like that. Is it correct? Yeah. Now it seems that uh, this step is fine. I'm not going to worry about uh, this detail here because I would like to move on to another subject. So I'm going back to the first floor here we have this door for the elevator i'm going to copy the settings coming down to the ground floor and i'm going to click it like that now on the ground floor also we have the door for the elevator the other thing that i want to do for this level i'm going to consider then uh, on this side we have the main street and these two side could be for example even a yard for the building and maybe an alley or uh, in a smaller street than this to access the building so i'm gonna uh, go to the 3d view again i'm gonna zoom out to see it better i'd rather to have some shops here so i need to create an uh, entrance or storefront for this space first i'm gonna define where do i want this store or shop to be so maybe i'm gonna continue this wall till here I'm going to copy this one and maybe connecting to here and I'm going to continue and close the area like this. I'm going to consider this side is the store and on here we're going to have the entrance, maybe a corridor to reach the stairs and elevator and maybe the other area could be some uh, storage for the residents. On this side we don't have any important things to do except drawing some uh, walls or maybe small doors for the storages. But here I'm going to draw a storefront window and uh, of course a storefront door. So I'm going to select the a door tool 
going to the dialog setting and here I'm gonna go for the storefronts. Then I'm scrolling down. I would really like to uh, select something like this because this type of storefronts will suit the building that I'm designing. So I'm gonna select it once. I'm not gonna change anything for now. I'm gonna hit OK and here I'm gonna select once here uh, because this is the outside so we will see this symbol of sun. I'm gonna click once and then I can uh, select the opening door to the inside or outside like that and then I'm going to take a look at it in the 3D view. We have something like this. I'm going to uh, stretch the height of this door to the ceiling level. Going like this and then this wall seems to be to this point. I'm going to remove this one and uh, intersect these two walls like this. Then I'm going to add an, a storefront window here. So I'm going to the window tool on the window library. I'm going to select the storefronts and I'm going to uh, select this one. Hit OK and then like that. So I'm going to the tree view. Then we have something like this. So I would like to stretch it to the floor level and also to the ceiling level. Then I'm going to do the same for this side like this. I'm going to copy this window. Here we have only one wall. I'm going to do it like this. Then I'm going to move this one to this corner and I'm going to add another window by Control Shift D and I'm going to click it like that. And it seems that we have a little bit gap between these two windows which I'm going to fix it like this. Okay I'm going to the 3D view again and it seems that we have a very big windows for the store. So I'm going to fix uh, some details of these uh, windows and doors. <music> design the storefront and I chose this style because I'm gonna design an industrial style maybe a coffee shop or something so I chose this style also I designed the windows with divisions so I considered that also having a storefront with divisions will be fit to the design now that I'm look at uh, the whole building, it seems that here we have a lot of windows. Here we have, of course, <laughs> a very big wall-to-wall -wall storefront. And also here we have a lot of windows. But it seems that on this side, which I considered as the street view facade, it seems that it doesn't have uh, enough opening. 
So I'm going to also change some window design, considering that I want to keep this uh, corner window. Well, I designed almost everything from the first floor to the roof. I also um, had to change some uh, details on uh, the roof and the connections to these walls. And I explained working with the roof tool in ARCHICAD very well on this tutorial. If you want to take a look at that tutorial, click right up here on the card and you can uh, watch the tutorial about the roof tool and how to work with the roof in ARCHICAD. Also, if you like it, don't forget to hit the like button on that video. I'm almost done with uh, designing the ground floor of this project. Uh, I'm not going to uh, spend time to design this private part of the building, which I considered as the storages for the residents. This is it for this tutorial. There's nothing that uh, I did in the time lapse that you just watched that I didn't explain in my channel. So if you have some questions that how did I do one step in this time lapse, click on the playlist right up here and watch that uh, tutorial. And uh, if you learned something new, don't forget to hit the like button. If this is the first time that you are watching my tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because uh, from now on, there will be many more uh, interesting um, tutorials in ARCHICAD and uh, many more applications that benefit the architects. Also, if you have uh, some questions about uh, the things that I did in this tutorial, please write it down on the comments. I'm going to read all of your comments and I'm going to answer them immediately. This is it for this tutorial. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.